Janet, on occasion, and today we're playing another Total War Warhammer Battle replay. As you can see, I brought the Beastmen, and uh, here I decided, you know what, no one ever brings Minotaurs, so I want to bring Minotaurs, I want to make them work. Uh, because they're great units, unlike the campaign and everything, I mean they must work in multiplayer battles, you know, in certain situations. So I decided to bring some along, uh, well, four units of them actually. So I've got Frontline of Gore Herd, just three units, um, just to, you know, saturate my Minotaurs in, basically. And I've also got some uh, Ungor Spearmen, so they're only cost 300, nice and cheap. Um, you know, good against sort of cavalry and stuff if they try and charge me in the back. So, uh, fair bit of utility for very cheap, and also they can just help saturate um, in the front line if need be. Which, you know, keeps my Minotaurs fighting, so that's great news. Um, also got Morga, and uh, in terms of Minotaurs, I've actually got two units of Minotaurs with shields in the front. And then, uh, I think they were 400 quid each, uh, 1400 quid each. And uh, then I got a unit of Minotaurs without shields, because I'm thinking, you know, these are going to take the brunt of the ranged fire in the front. So um, they can be the ones with the shields. And then uh, saving that extra 100 quid, that means I can also afford my Minotaurs with great weapons, which will be great if they turn up with anything large. I can just hack them to pieces, which will be sweet. So, you know, guys that are weak to range, they're in the back. Ones that are strong against range, they're in the front. So, you know, pretty pretty straightforward there. And uh, did I mention Morga? I brought Morga. I always bring Morga. It's Morga. And uh, also I've got two units of Centicles of Great Weapons, and I've got Chaos Warhounds of Poison. So uh, the other guy, he's got Boris Toddbringer, he's got a Steam Tank, so both terror-inducing units, pretty pretty scary. Um, especially with, you know, the sort of low leadership of the Beastman units. Um, also he's got Flagellants as well, so they're going to keep fighting no matter what. Um, well, unless they're all dead. Um, so, you know, hopefully they can uh, they can last, um, you know, they can outlast Ungor or Raiders or whatever. Ungor Raiders, you know, Ungor Spearmen and, and Gore Herds and all the rest of it. And, uh, you know, the Terror will run them away before they manage to kill the Flagellants. So, quite a solid front line in that respect. Um, so, he's got three units of those. He's also got great swords and he's got some spearmen on the flanks. And uh, he's got three units of hand gunners, another couple of spearmen in the back. He's also got a Amber Wizard. And he's got the Demigriff Knights with Halberds. Um, so, I'm obviously going to use my cavalry trying to single them out. And uh, get my Minotaurs with great weapons on the Steam Tank. So, uh, hopefully, that will work out rather well. So, um, so I come in quite fast here, because uh, I don't want to get shot too much. Uh, Morga gets a uh, cannonball to the face, but don't worry, he's cool with it. A uh, bit of a trooper, you know, takes more than one cannonball to take him out, that's for sure. Um, yeah, strangely resilient, you know, so he's just like a, some guy. But, um, yeah, pretty impressive. I guess all those spider webs in his hair, I don't know. So, over here... Um, I can see he just sort of postures up with his uh, Demigriff Knights. I think he thought that that would be enough of a deterrent. Um, it wasn't. So, um, pretty handy. So, uh, so I charge in there and get him around the back. He hasn't moved a Spearman in yet, so that's pretty sweet. He moves Boris to try and help out, but I think he soon realises that those Demigriffs are done for. So, very expensive to unit, you know, unit to lose that quickly. Absolutely horrific. So here you can see I've pathed my uh, Minotaur's Great Weapons at the Steam Tank. I've got some other Minotaur's hitting him, and I send these guys uh, either side to try and deal with their, you know, people on the other sides. Also, I send Spearmen to try and chase their Spearmen. Uh, so too late there, so I managed to shatter his Demigriff Knights and get out of there before the Spearmen could get to me. So that's pretty sweet. So uh, he comes in here with his Amber Wizard and Boris to try and help against these Minotaur's. Flagellants are already taking an absolute beating. Look at that. Absolutely impressive. So, um, here it does have the Spearman in backup though, so uh, it's going to be hard to get, you know, sort of capitalise on this. Um, so yeah, Spearman are under attack there with mine, I'm quite happy to have them tied up. Because, um, you know, there's one less unit of Spearman that he can use to keep my, um, you know, keep the rest of my guys away. Unfortunately though, Terra hits, and some of them run away, so that's pretty annoying. Um, but Flagents in the middle are absolutely decimated, and uh, now Boris has landed. So uh, I try and shove some of these minor tools through to get to him, but unfortunately there's a lot of great swords in the way. Which is very annoying. So uh, I sent some of my Minotaurs back to deal with that, because I don't want them fighting Spearmen, and the Flagellants are basically done. So um, I managed to get some uh, Chaos Warhounds, sort of disrupting his uh, hand gunners here, because the hand gunners could do a lot of damage to my Minotaurs if they put the mine to it, as you can see there. So uh, I managed to get some Chaos Spawn in there, get rid of the last of the Flagellants, so that's pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah, good times to be had by all here, and uh, yeah, Boris is taking a lot of damage from these Minotaurs. Uh, the Minotaurs pack an absolute punch, and it's really hard for him to path out of there, because the Minotaurs are too big to run through. So, uh, at that point, he calls it a day. Um, that was very tough for him. So, um, yeah, Minotaurs can work, because I don't think people expect you to bring a load of Minotaurs like that. So, um, pretty fun, because, yeah, they're definitely, they're definitely fallen out of favour on multiplayer. So, when you do bring them, uh, things can go quite well. Because, yeah, you don't really need as strong an infantry corps if you've got a load of Minotaurs sitting amongst them. 
So, uh, pretty cool. And uh, let's have a look at the um, let's have a look at the post match here. So, uh, as you can see, uh, you know, Boris got a few kills. Uh, Spearman, you know, did all right. Uh, Demigriffs only nine kills. Such a waste. Um, and yeah, the steam tank, he was only fighting Minotaurs um, for most of that, so that made it incredibly difficult for him. Um, that is not not easy when he's just fighting Minotaurs. That is not what they're built for, like, for defeating. Um, so yeah, not ideal for him. Handgunners, they only got a couple of kills. Um, I'm not sure what they were fighting at for most of it. I think they were trying to shoot at my infantry for most of it, because I couldn't really see him firing much. So um, I don't think he had them um, trying to shoot my Minotaurs. Uh, they, seemed, they seemed obstructed, which is not good. Um, so yeah, I just decimated this guy. I'm not surprised he left, unfortunately. But um, yeah, hopefully he learned something from this. So uh, yeah, thanks for the match, Aces. Now, uh, so seeing as how that didn't actually end, you didn't see you know the end of it there, um, through the magic of editing, we're going to jump to another replay. So uh, here, same build, same build, exactly. So, uh, but I'm against uh, the Greenskins. So uh, this is this is this is scarier. Um, as you can see, he's got Savage Orc Biggins. Uh, he's got Squigs, more Savage Orcs, uh, more Savage Orc Biggins, more Squigs, more Savage Orcs, um, more Squigs, uh, Goblin Big Bosses. A couple of them. He's got Azag, which is kind of cool. Never see him. More Biggins, uh, more Savage Orcs, more Squigs, more more Biggins, um, and more Savage Orcs. Basically, it's all Savage Orcs and Savage Orc Biggins. But he has so many Biggins. And also he's got the Orc Boy, but Boar Boy Biggins. He has so much anti-large. Um, it is absolutely terrifying. And Squigs, although, uh, you know, they're not necessarily the best pick here. They are great at just disrupting a formation, which is kind of cool. So uh, it means if he can just knock all of my guys away from the Minotaurs, then the Minotaurs are going to have a tougher time of things. So uh, pretty terrifying. So I'll speed things up. So uh, i got some guys on the uh, on the side here. I'm going to flank them around. You'll see I get a couple of good exchanges with the uh, Orc Boy Biggins in a bit, which is nice. But, um, so many biggins. So many biggins. Uh, some of my mind tools are going to have a terrible time. So I start moving them up slowly. Yeah, don't want to rush, don't want to get tired. So, uh, yeah, start moving them up. So, uh, he starts moving up as well. He's trying to, you know, sort of choke out this bit. Um, which is pretty standard, you know, to have a big battle in the swamps here. So that's kind of cool. So, uh, start moving up a bit. So here, he moves his, uh, Savage Old Biggins over here somewhere. Because uh, he's got sight of these guys now, so obviously he wants to react to that. But unfortunately, he does have these biggins on the flanks that he can, uh, you know, use to support, which is a bit, a bit scary. So yeah, continue to move up. Oh, I just love the look of these guys, though, just stomping around. Very cool. Absolutely love it. So yeah, Minotaurs are cool units. They're just not brought enough. I find that very sad. Because uh, yeah, they're really formidable. They're very expensive, though. They're like fourteen hundred basic Minotaurs. So, uh, yeah, pretty expensive. What is it, 1300 basic ones? 1400 with shields, 15 with the great weapons? I think that's it. Um, but yeah, they're expensive. And you know, quite small model counts. You know, if you uh, if you get a lot of uh, range fire on them, they can they can get melted pretty quickly. Um, I think that's what puts people off. But when you have this many, um, you know, maybe one unit will get destroyed, and then you just have the other three can just run straight through the lines and completely destroy their back line. So, um, yeah, I think that's the problem. I think people bring, like, a unit of Minotaurs, but it's the sort of unit, if you let it, um, you know, stomp around, um, if you don't single it out early, then, yeah, they'll do massive damage. And so people single them out early, so they don't get anywhere. So uh, here, I actually have to stop, because he's put a purple son of uh, Xerius here. So tell them to keep keep there and move back a bit. So that's good news. So uh, here, get a nice, uh, nice hit on these old boy biggins. Or ball boy biggins, rather. So you can see, half the health is gone, which is awesome. And uh, so I pull straight out before I take too much damage. And uh, before these savage orcs can help. Because as long as I can just get, you know, little exchanges like that, then, yeah, they're not going to be a problem. And it keeps him distracted over here. Um, so I can engage in the front. Which is uh, helpful. Here, use a spirit leech, which is really annoying. Not liking those. You know, I do regenerate, but, um, you know, I'm about to have a big fight. So uh, I can't want all the health I can get. So, yeah. So uh, he moves back again, starts moving his uh, orcs back this way, so I'll end up moving back in again to get another attack. So, uh, yeah, here, oh, so many squigs and biggins, this is terrifying. So charge in, you know, my gore herd are going to get torn to pieces by the savage orcs and my lion tors, and I'm going to have a real tough time against biggins. So uh, I throw everything in here, I throw all my spearmen in, I just need to saturate those minotaurs as much as possible so they can do as much damage as they can. 
Um, but it's going to be really tough. Yeah, well, Savage always coming back. Ugh. So he runs it with Azag as well. So, you know, the terror from Azag, that's not going to be good. Although I think these guys are immune to psychology as long as they're around Morgan. Um, so here again, another nice exchange. So do some more damage to both of these units. These guys are in pretty good shape, but, you know, Savage Old Biggins are on the way, so I'm not getting out of there. Oof, tough, very tough. So yeah, the Squigs are getting absolutely demolished. So that's good news. Uh, he's another purple Sun Zerius. It went the wrong way for him though, so uh, that's a pity. Uh, if it came this way, then that would be it. That'd be, you know, GG. So, hmm, not ideal. But uh, yeah, I mean, it worked out well for me. However, you know, I do now have one unit routing. Oh, and another two. Um, and three. Okay, a lot of four, five. Oh my god, everything's running. Six. Uh, okay, well, yeah, almost uh, everything's running. Everything's running. <laughs> not good. Not good. So, uh, you can see, uh, Azag's taking a little bit of damage, but, you know, he's got so many other Savage Orbs amongst them. It's very, it's very tough. So, uh, yeah, I start getting my cavalry around, because he's decided just to engage in this front line, because he can see it's crumbling. Um, he can end the battle pretty quickly if he just, if he just demolishes this. So, uh, that's, that's not good for me. So, uh, another Spirit Leech goes on Morga. So, Morga's, you know, kind of stuck in the middle of this. And, uh, yeah, these Chaos Spawn are sort of stuck against a load of anti-large units. Um, Actually, not too many, just the Orc Biggins. But even the Savage Orcs will do pretty well against the Chaos Maul that don't have any armor. Um, I mean, the Chaos Maul will do well against the Savage Orcs, but it's, yeah, it goes both ways. Um, so, yeah, you can see they are just melting. So, charge at the back of these uh, Orc Biggins. He chases me with the Savage Orc uh, Biggins, so I have to run. So, not good, not good. Uh, I've got some guys coming back, but things are a bit disheveled. Um, Azag's coming in, so I try and get a surround on him. Um, but right now, it's just, uh, yeah, six Minotaurs and more good fighting in this uh, in this blob, and obviously the Chaos Blob, they're not going to do much. So he surges forward, target Morga, and uh, yeah, he, he managed to break it, which is really bad for me. Uh, very, very bad. But, um, yeah, I mean, I've got a load of Minotaurs on, uh, on Azag, he's not really designed for this sort of sustained combat. You know, he's he's on a Wyvern, but he's a spellcaster, he's not the sturdiest. Um, so I do bring these guys back at some point. Um, oh, that's right, I use my Centigals to try and get rid of those squigs coming in again. Unfortunately, I do have a unit just thrown in here. I had to try and pin as many down as possible while Morgo made his retreat. But as you can see, he's pretty caught up on Savage Orcs right now, and he's got almost no health. Which is pretty dire. And unfortunately, Azag managed to get out, which is rubbish for me. If I was able to kill him, um, I, I might have been able to turn it around. But I had to kill him. I, I couldn't have. I couldn't have done it otherwise. I had to kill him. That would have been my only, my only hope. Because you can see, you know, their, uh, a lot of their leadership had been a bit iffy. So if I had managed to kill him, then it might have caused a lot to run. It might have caused a chain round. And I could have capitalised with my, uh, you know, my centigors running people down. Chase the enemy down. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately not. So uh, in my gore hunt there, my tools, they were starting to run. Oh, it's pretty terrible. Pretty terrible. Uh, but Morga, he's back, you know, with all of his health. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's in bad shape. So is Azag, but still, there's... Uh, as I got a mount, I can't really catch him. So, uh, yeah, it's not looking good. Everyone's pretty, pretty disheveled. Um, I do get Chaos Spawn in the middle here. Turn some, uh, turn some uh, Savage Orcs into Chaos Spawn, which is handy. But, um, another life. Uh, yeah, Spirit Leech goes down on him. So that's really bad. And here, he comes charging in, and I literally, there's no way of avoiding it. Um, Morgan's just not quick enough to escape. So he gets taken out, and that's, that's it. I mean, you know, no one wants to come back after a fight. Into the fire after that. I just realised I did actually neglect those Minotaurs. That is really annoying. Yeah, I did not realise I had those. Um, that's annoying. But still, I don't think they could have swung in. Um, but yeah, so that was uh, that was that was well played. So he managed to take out. The, you know, he's just got the Chaos Spawn left, so he'll, he'll manage to take those in. But um, yeah, I think it's fun using Minotaurs though. Um, obviously, this was such a anti-large army that I was up against. They didn't really stand much of a chance. But um, but that was still fairly close when you look at it. You know, he's taken a lot of damage. And if I'd managed to kill Azag there, then it could have turned out very differently. So uh, I think it's a cool army, this Beastman army. But um, yeah, I think it does the job. Um, obviously not here, but you know, no one ever brings Minotaurs. I just think that's so sad. Because they're really cool. Look at that, 61 kills. With the uh, great weapons. That's awesome. Because, yeah. That's pretty awesome to say they were going against all anti-large stuff. Pretty happy with that. Um, you know, the rest of my army did nothing. Um, it was pretty weak. Pretty weak attempt. But, oh well. Um, I mean, it worked well against the Empire player. So, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to try and use this again at some point. See if, uh, you know, see if I can refine it a bit, maybe.
But yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions for it. Um, because I think it shows promise. Yeah, I like it. And mine is also cool. Um, I'm, I'm sure you enjoyed the cinematics. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, um, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.